Last time, we learned to use the combined list operator. Today's main focus is the filter node. This node takes in two pieces of text, input and filter by, where filter by is essentially the criteria by which we want to filter the input text. So let's say we want to filter a list of student names by their scores on an exam. You would pass in the student names as the input and their scores as the criteria by which you'd like to filter. Let's now take a look at this example on the flow builder. All right, so here I have a list of student names and their scores on an exam. Lando, Carlos, and Michael got 91, 82, and 96 on an exam respectively. Now, I want to filter the students based on whether they got over 90 on the exam. To do this, we pass the student names into input 1 and their scores into filter by. Now, we set the condition type to be is greater than and type in 90 in the condition value since we want to only keep the names of students that got greater than 90 on the exam. Now let's run the flow. We see that the output of the filter node is only Lando and Michael because Carlos did not get over 90 on this exam. All right, now let's take a look at another example. Suppose I have a list of customer emails that have purchased a subscription to my platform, and I want to determine which customers might be potential enterprise users. To do this, I might want to filter out personal email addresses, such as those ending with gmail.com. So I want to filter the customer emails, so I pass that list into the input. Now, what do I want to filter by? Well, I actually want to filter their emails by whether or not the email addresses contain the text gmail.com. So I would also pass the emails into filter by. Now I can set the condition type to be does not contain and type in gmail.com in the condition value. Now let's run the flow. We see that the output of the filter node is the filtered list of emails that does not contain the text gmail.com. The last feature of this node is the output blank value option. By selecting this, we can output a blank value for each item in the list that we filter out. So in this case, instead of outputting a list of two items, we'd output the list of the same length as the input list, but just replace the personal customer email address with an empty item. This can help with list length consistency further downstream if we have other operators that make use of the fact that the list length is a certain value.